fat and ugly downgrade my man wannabe lady with no high man blue but developer self-absorbed unemployment is their reward isn't it wild that looking like this says a jewish journalist adl said anti-semitic sweet baby sucre pathetic sony mandate psn censorship herman best friend pull it out stick it in succotash suffering toil and trouble witch brew bubble in california androgyny pretty equals pornography intersectional patriarchal modern audience sound a farcical the thing goes clack 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 but it don't click say stunning and brave right now or you better be john wick call of duty trans guns if you've got the courage go on a rampage no news coverage banana and an adam's apple throw it back snap up and crackle force it race swap woman manly all white team sponsored by stanley up your balls cause you're a geezer asking questions like weezer disfigured face who dis woke shoot profit always miss Common sense ejected, popular property disrespected, insecurities projected, surgical mutilation infected, Kyle neglected, woke slop rejected, gaslight reflected, DEI detected. Hello, beta testers. Like and subscribe to join 94,000 people who are kind or confused enough to press this button. Happy Pride Month, gay people. If you want free clout, I suggest going here at Disneyland and pretending to propose just to see if they'll stop you. Do they dare? This month? The optics would be explosive. And you don't even have to be gay, honestly. Better yet, you could probably pretend to, to present as one gender, and then when they stop you, reveal that you're the other gender and see, see if this changes things. I digress. What is the modern audience? The mythical modern audience is the make-believe group, catered to over the majority. The same ones not paying for any of the slop being changed in their favor and the reason for corporate frustration because we, beta testers, should have accepted what they told us to like by now, but this pesky free will nonsense keeps throwing a wrench into the whole operation. It always comes down to name calling and interrogation about why the chastise audiences who are often told that this isn't made for us, don't like it, don't buy it, straight hate, straight hate, straight hate, male gaze bad, straight hate. Ubisoft literally says stuff like, uh, you know, people need to get used to not owning what they've bought and the amoeba brained de defenders out here supporting and cheerleading for this slop are offended that we don't just go along with it and pay whatever price they ask. They're talking about increasing the price. Embracer of all people. You remember that other guy who was like, well, I think they should be able to tip people money for nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Their jealousy is matched only by how triggered images like these make them. We shouldn't even mention people like Sidney Sweeney because it's enough for them to throw up their handkerchief and faint. The only people arguing against what everyone finds repulsive are people who don't seem to know the difference between someone complaining that something isn't hot enough and someone complaining that this is a gender swap for no reason. And then you tell us, oh, it's supposed to be a woman. And then we're like, <laughs> Okay, you know, oh, do, do they ide identify differently now? It's like an identity swap. No, they're just a, they're just a, the same woman as before. <laughs> then why are you looking like this? People are getting confused by serial gaslighters because at no point did sexuality come into the conversation. But the main stale go-to that these entities have is to imply that any disagreement means coomer, kid diddler, phobe, fascist, racist, sexist, whatever thing they've got in their bag. And boy, do they hope it carries the stigma heavy enough to get a whole bunch of people to hate you, hopefully without context as well. It's like we're all political opponents now and we're running for office and boy do they hope to discredit so that your points will not be as valid as theirs. As they're rolling into your space, desperate. Pick me, pick me, comedically. And as usual, the point being missed so profoundly that you can tell these hack developers don't even understand maybe a uh, subconscious manifestation appearing sexier has a purpose in the plot. But again, you know, 
It doesn't matter. They're not aware. Images of heterosexual people trigger them. There's so many steps below the flight that we're on. What's the point? Let's just let them get it out of their system. This tragedy doesn't need time to become comedy because the oblivious dimwits ironically taking issue with other people's real life appearance when they're supposed to be the accepting and tolerant party took it a step further by attempting to police how characters in a video game look with attractive feminine presenting women being uh, the wrong flavor of ones and zeros for them so they've got specific issue that they're taking with just this gender when I emasculate instantly in a way that makes women invisible to the kinds of low T losers that have something to prove to a stranger, you know, I've bounced and people normally need to be drunk to feel like they're losing face to somebody that doesn't even know their name. But that's how ass blasted some of these people walking around. I struggle in restraining myself and not laughing at their inability to understand something so simple. Ugly woman, $70 with the cyberpunk polish as intelligent and lovingly crafted as a Fallout 76 with what's really going to keep you playing a long time like a Starfield. Did I mention women so ugly that they're, they're interchangeable? I've often posted the big jaw bleak widow from Crystal Flat Chest, she no longer raids tombs dynamics and Marvel's Avengers and Marvel's Avengers Crystal Dynamics Black Widow confused people and they thought it was Mary Jane from Insomniac's $300 million plus game. It's as if they're getting used to just averting their gaze. Because I feel these two look different, but people are mistaking it. And if they can mistake, maybe that's why it's so easy for some of these people to gaslight for so long. But when it comes to beauty, even femme fatales like Harley Quinn need to be more butch, right? <laughs> They were well aware that people would resist because it's not appealing, it's not palatable, it's not reasonable. The most effective method for them was to force, so of course, they accept Larry Fink's ESG hand right up their bum and not hilariously for gay reasons. But gay for pay is, in a way, respectable and it's a real shame. This day, it's infinitely interesting how what they do and say when somebody else does it is not okay. Accept stuff as it is, gamers, and then wait for a woke TV show to drum up hype again to make playing that old broken thing less embarrassing. You know what I mean? My name's Kyle, and the very choice woke tries to rob from you is a choice that you're exercising and opting into listening to me right now. Even my haters are forced to agree. You know, nobody's strapping them down, <laughs> forcing them to listen to this. I'm myself, not a brand, and my ass spreads for no hand. I'm blunt and harsh or hostile or whatever fruity words to the people that use terms like toxic regularly, but I don't need to lube up the bad news for you, beta testers. Ironically, most of us never needed to be told some of what's going on, but... I recognize that some people, and you make me aware in the comments, really just like knowing that you're not alone and I'm appreciative that, that I could reach you so you wouldn't be caged by this incorrect belief. I couldn't just tell people that Arcane then is different to Arcane now in the same way that I couldn't just say that Rocksteady then is different to Rocksteady now. But you're going to start listening when I keep trying to urge you to understand that Rockstar then is different from rock star now people needed to see and feel for themselves that cd project red one day went from when it is ready to here's this unfinished thing right now genshin impact clone weathering waves has leaked the emails of players the exact same way that bethesda did back during its fallout 76 fiasco i could tell you how modern audience things are getting behind the scenes, but I know better than to assume or have you believe anything until there's some real things you can grab a hold of, okay? 
Ask yourself this question. Do you regard Rockstar at the very least uh, as intelligent enough to hide what has become a point of contention very vocally amongst people like us? Yes or no? Tell me in the comment section. And to say it even simpler, do you think Rockstar smart enough to hide that woke ESG sensitivity consultation bullshit if they can help it? That's the question that I want you to answer. Good job. They're realizing no matter how hard they try to force it, they can't really reclassify a turd. And uh, <laughs> a turd by another name is just as smelly. Stop blaming the messengers. No one online is giving you more blunt and honest assessment than gamers. Okay? Watch as some of these people refer to uh, depictions of a girl with her tummy out as hyper or over-sexualized. Oh, my God, you know, I think a, a, a Carl's Jr. commercial might make these dudes burst into flames. And it's crazy specifically because it's not OK in a mature rated game that only adults can purchase. But it is OK for the young in attendance at a drag show. Gyration got these people so crazy that even dance emotes in Fortnite now have such stiff mechanical uncanny motions if i'm lying watch and see but just like how woke claims it's inclusive but it's gotta exclude just wait to answer the question of what the modern audience is and forgive me for getting away from myself you know escape entertainment that we pay for, if not with money, then with our time, with our habits that are actively being harvested as data to sell to low bidders, if not given away. We are teaching AI how to AI, forgive me, how to recognize, speak, act, uh, to to better manipulate us, to better fool us, to pass our tests. Woke pretends to be confused about what a woman looks like, but the sophisticated technology that all of us are training knows the difference between man and woman at a glance very well. A popular meme, you know, people are just feeding the 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 women that are being created by these multi-million dollar studios to the AI, and the AI says, this is a dude. So how people identify isn't the issue. Race and gender isn't the issue. Swapping and changing what came before, obviously telegraphing how little you understand the purpose of these representations. This not only defines woke, it's inferior, preachy, lazy garbage that seems deliberately at odds with what people would want, especially in the context of a remake where you really just need to represent this thing that worked as it was. Your criticism is that you're always trying to reinvent the wheel and you're trying to do it in remakes now. I'm not sure that you understand how much criticism is deserved here when your thing that you think is better isn't, but you're surrounding yourself only with people who would never tell you that. The modern audience is their idea of the tamed consumer. In one eloquently summed up phrase by Red Letter Media's style over substance loving Jay Ballman, I think the quote is, don't ask questions, consume product, and get excited for next product. To the patrons, I love you. To everybody, you know, liking and subscribing, <laughs> you know, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so many of you for being a lightning rod right now. You think all of these people that are all upset about people talking about video games would, would be paying attention to other things right now? But hey, I guess if they're not needed, you know what I mean? Wow, I love you. Bye.